Jeez, it's going to take forever for me to get this YouTube thing right. Uh, g'day, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. So we've got our defenses in. We're getting our uh, we're getting our walls up, which is really, really good. Uh, it's costing us a lot of wood, so we're going to have to chop down some more wood. But uh, they have chopped down this area nearly, and they're going to chop down this area as well. So we've got some walls clear. Um, in that raid, uh, another village is struck with dysentery. Um... Shit well. Shit well, guys. Yeah, we've got our poo farm operating there. Uh, yes. Industry. Industry. Tannery, definitely. Uh, well, I'm a little bit concerned. We're going into winter now. We only have five months worth of food. We don't have any fish. Well, we've got a lot of uh, smoked fish, but we don't have that much in regards to fish but uh hopefully we'll, we'll we'll definitely get through this winter but we're probably going to need to look at see we've got food rotting in here as well uh we don't want to store gold in there no we want to store gold in here. oh crap we want to store gold in somewhere but not there Got a lot of food getting stored in there. We're going to look at uh, getting some bees and stuff happening in here as well. Uh, I think we need to store gold in here, don't we? No, that's our that's our cobbler, you dickhead. Uh, where is it? It's right there, isn't it? Yeah, we've got gold. We can just store gold in there. We might be better off just leaving it in there. I don't know. I'm assuming that it's going to go back to there. But we've got our towers up. We've got our defenses up, which is really good. We've got a peasant over here who is sick, which is uh, which is not very good. But it is what it is. These guys are chopping all of these trees down. Um, foragers, there's no point in having our... I don't know whether to micromanage and whether to take foragers off of foraging and fishers off of fishing... And all that at the start of winter. The problem is that if I do it at the start of winter, I'll forget to do it afterwards. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Now, um, what are we going to do? So we're going to need we're going to need to keep doing a lot of logging. We're definitely going to need to do a lot of logging. We've got a lot of trees marked for uh, chopping there, and we've got a few marked for chopping there, which is perfectly fine. Okay. So that's good. That's all going down. We've got no gold storage. I'm sure you have buildings that accept gold. Okay, all right. Well, we, we need to urgently build ourselves storage. Uh, we need to build ourselves a vault. And a vault is going to go over here, I think. I think that's where we're going to build it. Right there. And I think it'll be protected there. I think it'll be protected there. Let's get on to here. And let's uh, prioritize. Oh, shit. We need iron for that. Okay, so we are going to have to store gold out here, aren't we? There we go. For now. We'll get a vault in. We'll see if we can, uh, when a trader comes in, we'll see if we can actually buy ourselves some ingots. All of these guys are full. Yeah, we're going to have to start selling some bows as well, I think. Um, do we have bows set up to sell in here? Where are we, bows? Let's set up... Uh, where are you, bows? Where are you, bows? You've got to be in here somewhere. Uh, crossbows. Why aren't normal bows in here? Can't see them, can't see them. Can't see him anywhere. We are going to have to get some uh, proper tools in as well at some point in time. Why can't I see bows? Have I gone past it? I've gone past it like 150 times, haven't I? Bows, 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 bows. Be nice to be able to search in here, wouldn't it? Um. Yeah, definitely can't find bows in there. I think what we're going to have to do is probably cut down on our... Uh, cut down on our production of bows because if we can't sell any then there's no point in us doing it so where's our Fletcher uh, that's our wagon shop our Fletcher is here I think let's uh, reduce the amount of bows that they're making 
and increase the amount of arrows. Yeah. Maybe slot it down to there. I think that'll be alright for now. I think that'll be alright for now and that'll sort that problem out. We're going to need to get a uh, another tower over here. However, again, we're going to use trading. We're actually going to use trading to, uh, to counteract that. Uh, it looks like our villager has been cured. Uh, what have we got? So... Tanner-wise, we've got four people working in there. Nope, they didn't cure. They died. <laughs> this is killing them. I'm just killing them. Uh, <laughs> it's killing my villagers. We're going to need a bigger cemetery soon. All right, well. Yeah. I think we're doing all right on that. It's saying we don't have enough builders. Too few laborers will slow building. Let's add another couple of builders to that uh, so we can keep building these fence fences and these defenses. Um, right. Okay. Walls, not fences. They're walls, Simi. Okay. Fair enough. They are. They are indeed. Don't know what to do with the wagon. The wagon's storing a whole pile of stuff. We're running out of storage, aren't we? I think that's a big problem. I think storage is a big problem. Let's let's see if we can build ourselves another storage yard. Uh, a granary, uh, a storehouse. Let's build ourselves another storehouse here. Like that. And we'll bring that road through there as well. Which will be perfectly fine. We're in a new year now. Which is good. Let's bring that road through to there. And we can probably throw another house down there at some point in time. But what we want to do is try and upgrade these houses. And try and get some decorations and stuff happening. We've got enough gold now to be able to do that. So, amenities and services. Well, we don't have... Uh, uh, festival pole would be pretty cool. A rat catcher costs us eight a month. We don't want anything that's going to cost us. A healer's house, we, we, we definitely can't do that. We've got ourselves a school. Um, temple will cost us 15 a month. That's no good either. I'm thinking maybe... Maybe building an, another shrine. Although another shrine is going to cost us four a month as well so that's probably not good what have we got in decorations let's have a look at decorations um birch tree plant a birch tree it doesn't give us any we, we want stuff that gives desirability we want stuff that gives really good desirability flagpole let's do a flagpole over here Which increases the desirability of all of those places there. Probably over here is a good place. Right next to the school. Yes. We'll build that. We've got another village just stricken with uh, typhoid. We're going to need stones. So we're going to need to start collecting some more stones. So we're going to have to get those stones there. Do we have any other stones anywhere? Uh, we can collect that as well. That's a that's a big amount of stones. Or we could collect those stones. Uh, let's undo these stones. Remove as target. Remove that as target. New villager is born. Happiness is going up. I'm really concerned about food. I'm really, really concerned about food. How's your area going in here? We've got some deer there and we've got some deer there, so you're going well. How's your area going? We've got deer in there. Get your ass into gear. And you guys here should be... That's the forager. You guys in here should be getting a fair bit of fishing done. Yes, you are. 
So they are producing a lot of fish. I mean, we've got three fisheries there producing fish, so hopefully we'll be all right. What are you doing? Once upon... Uh, eventually, eventually these guys actually start um, sort of doing their... Um, you don't have to micromanage them as much. I don't think. Let's go in there so we can get some medicinal roots and stuff as well. Which would be good. And we've got another forager sitting up there. Right there. And you're not really doing anything, are you? Um, you get out here and do some foraging out here, I think. Well, we've got enemies and stuff over there as well. Uh, maybe forage over there for now. Uh, I did want to. I did also want to check out what happened when we walked over here. We didn't really, when we were exploring over here, we didn't really find any other villages, did we? No, we didn't. So, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, so what else are we going to do? Well, all right, we're rambling. I'm rambling. Got everything working and going the way that's going. We've got a trader coming in now. We need to build up as much food as we possibly can. We need at least six months storage, I think, every time um, <laughs> that trader just got hit by lightning, I think. Every time uh, winter comes around, we need at least six months worth. Okay, what do we got? Let's see. You can take 100 planks. You're buying those for a good price. Sell. Uh, you can buy 100 fish. You're buying those for a neutral price. That's fine. No. Are you not buying fish? No, you're not buying fish. You have iron. How much iron do we need? 25. You're selling it for a pretty good price. How much is that going to cost us? If we buy, say, 50 iron, it's going to cost us 450. Buy and transfer, most definitely. Um... You're not buying normal clothes. Candles would be pretty good, but we're going to look into producing those ourselves. Uh, he would be paying a neutral price for candles. I think that's probably about where we're at right there, isn't it? Um, hmm... I think we'll leave it at that. Okay. Atka of the Iron Clan, thank you very much. She's not buying fish. Did we did we buy fish or did we bloody sell did I buy fish? Or did I sell it? Oh no, I sold uh, I sold timber. I sold timber. Let's sell uh some more timber. Let's get another fifty six in there. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. Um, we could buy more clothes, but clothes is going to be our industry. So I think what we need to do now is look into uh, look into a, a bees. Look into uh, getting some bees happening. So um, our fences are nearly, our gates, our fences and stuff are nearly done. Did we not put a gate in here? Doesn't look like I did put a gate in there. Let's go back into defenses. And throw a gate in there. There we go. Lovely. Got a few gates there to defend. We want to get another... Uh, we want to get ourselves another thing over here. There's another merchant here as well. Uh, Trader 2. What have you got? What do you want? You would like clay, but we're not selling clay because we're making pottery. Um, he doesn't really want anything, does he? Oh, he's got cows. I want to get into, I want to get into cows at some point, but it looks like the villager has been cured. Thank goodness for that. Uh, pottery, let's sell off all of our pottery to him. 22, let's sell those. We've got plenty of shoes. We don't have much in the way of clothes yet. 
But that's going to change because I am a, I'm going to actually open that building up and double production on that. But I don't think... Uh, how much do we have in regards to uh, hides in here? We've, we've only got three pelts. Why have we only got three pelts when we've purchased an absolute shitload of them? Do we have pelts sitting in here? No, but we've only got three pelts. That's not gonna... That's not gonna happen, is it? What's this? Uh, you are ready to upgrade. Oh, what about this guy? This guy is ready to upgrade. Let's upgrade him. Let's definitely upgrade him. That's a bonus. And we'll upgrade this hunter as well. It's going to cost us a bit of money. But there you go. That's actually a bonus. That's, uh, that's our first... Our first production building, basically, that, uh, that we've been able to upgrade. So we're running short on stone. Do we buy some stone in? Are you selling stone, sir? You are selling stone. Let's buy in some stone. Let's buy in... Let's buy in 30... Yeah, let's buy in 30... 30 stone. Buy and transfer. Just to get that, just to get that finished so that we can start storing our gold in there. Now, this well is also ready for upgrade. Uh, which gives us uh, increased water supply, quicker water accumulation, increased durability, and increased desirability. Nice. Upgrade. Upgrade that well, which means that this one is going to upgrade as well. We're going to run out of money really, really quickly, aren't we? Upgrade. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Uh, what do we need there? Flax. Uh, are you selling flax, sir? Are you selling flax? No, you're not. Uh, okay. We're going to have to buy some flax in as well. All right, that's about, that's, uh, uh, this is actually pretty bloody exciting, isn't it? We probably need some more iron. Are you selling iron? You are not selling iron. Okay, but somebody else will come in and they'll sell iron as well. Cool. Cool. Okay, things are happening, guys. Things are absolutely and utterly happening now. We're starting to move. This is going to increase desirability around this area. The other thing that we could do, because I was looking at decorations, is we could throw in a large park. Like that. Yep, I'm going to do it. I'm going to throw in a large park. What does that require? That requires 500 gold ingots and it requires 30 stone. Uh, we're going to have to do some more transferring here. Let's transfer gold. Let's transfer another 500 across to there. We'll keep a thousand on us. Let's confirm that. There we go, because we're going <laughs> to we're going to definitely need more gold. This is being built. We can store all of our gold in here now, which will be absolutely brilliant. <laughs> and it should be well defended. Well, it's defended from that tower. It's defended from that tower. Oh, it's kind of defended from that tower. So we're going to need to get another tower down here. That there, you are going to store gold. And you are going to store armor and weapons. Lovely. Lovely. You are no longer going to store gold. And you over here are no longer going to store gold. All of that is going to be stored in here. Probably a little bit too far out, weren't we? Oh well, that's fine. Let's throw that in there. We've got another village stricken by typhoid. Let's throw a little bit of a road in there and then we'll start increasing desirability in there as well. Uh, somebody next to that well. I hope we don't have a fire. If we have a fire now, we're stuffed. 
We are stuffed. Let's maybe... Well, we're going to need to get bloody flax. And we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need more... Uh, more stone as well. Are they digging all this stone out? They should be digging all of this stone out. Let's prioritize that so that we get more stone. Uh, you can now probably move up to here somewhere, maybe. Down near the gate, maybe. He's kind of full, isn't he? Head over there. Thankfully, the villager has been cured again. But what we need to do is we need to look at um, we need to look at increasing our income. Now, if we get these upgraded and we keep providing everybody with everything that we need, then I'm hoping that we'll be all right. That uh, wicker shop we don't need. Where were we producing? That's our storehouse. That's our Fletcher. Um, whereabouts were we producing? Um, we're producing our pottery here. I'm going to throw another couple of people in here. To increase our pottery production. We've got four people in here. All right, cool, cool. So we probably want to, uh, at some point in time, fill that. But we are going to need extra pottery to keep all of these houses happy because they, they because they require pottery, herbs, smoked fish, firewood. So all these things are keeping them happy. Uh, water is a bit of a problem at the moment, and clothing is a bit of a problem too. So hopefully, uh, hopefully these guys. They can't really step up their production if they don't have... Well, they've got 11 hides there. So you just need to get your asses into gear, I think. Bloody peasants. All right, lovely. Lovely. That is awesome. Um, that is another episode, guys. That is another episode. Uh, we've got our vault done. Our wall's nearly done. We're going to have to concentrate on uh, getting some more product to supply the houses to keep everybody happy and keep the houses upgraded and we desperately need to look at food because we've only got four months worth of food sitting there so we're going to have to look into that and how we're going to sort that out thanks for watching i will see you guys next time bye